Hello, hello, welcome to Sapiens Umibanzo. A new, I guess you could call, a city builder with an enormous map. We playing the demo today. The demo is on Steam if you guys want to go and grab it and try it out. And if you enjoyed, you can buy the game on Steam as well. And continue with the save that you had in the demo. So, guys, we are going to start with a new world. And um, let's create a new one. So, start a new world. You can name the world. Whatever name you want to have. I'm going to go for a random name. Let's go with the name Tello, we're gonna randomize the seed, and you can put in your own numbers here if you want to. And you can you generate your own world, I'm not sure if you can even type in Banto and get a world. Try it out. There's the world of Banto. Maybe we will go for that one. We can customize how much seed we want to have, how much rainfall, the temperature, continent size, hill size, and so on. But I think we're gonna go fairly default with everything, really, I'm just gonna... Go back with the zero level a little bit. So let's create a world. For millennia, sapiens have been exploring in Tello. Small tribes are scattered wide across the world, traveling, gathering, hunting, and surviving. These primitive sapiens are happy, but they're also limited by the lack of knowledge and ambition. Alone they may survive, but can never reach their full potential. You are to become the garden of the tribe of sapiens. You will give them direction and a purpose. Your goal is to encourage them to learn, advance and grow, ultimately to create a thriving sapient civilization. Those you choose to lead will be the ancestors of the entire human species. Choose your tribe wisely. Okay, so we can get started here. There's a lot of like small little islands out here in the ocean water. But I feel like, do I want to start at the big tribe maybe? And I'm going to keep the tutorial on down there because I'm not super familiar with the game yet. I played it a tiny bit experimenting and uh, I feel like this one looks pretty cool. Got this nice water, got some of the small little islands, maybe protecting us a bit. So I'm going to go with this one. Let's see what we got here. Oh wow, nine sapiens. We got Koopa, Ekit, Melon, Lalin, Silla, Kikie, Koli, Nislo, and Vasi. And it seems there are a couple of childs, and adults, and so on. So we've got a strong one, a lazy one, logical, creative, optimist, logical, tone deaf, pregnant, an optimist, long sleep, loyal, tone deaf, loyal. Okay, so a lot of tone deaf people, it seems. Bime, temperate, pine, and birch tree, moderate summer, very cold winter. Okay. So it could get kind of dangerous, but we started with nine sapiens. The last tribe that I tried, I think we just started with like two or something like that. Okay, so here we are, beautiful little terrain. Gathering hay. Your sapiens are going to want to somewhere to sleep tonight and hay makes a decent bed. Let's clear some grass so it can dry out and be used for beds. Okay, so here we have our beautiful little sapiens. Hello little sapiens. Hello Toki on you too. You decide furniture? It looked like so. They all want to have a place to sleep, I'm guessing then. Okay, so let's get started. So we can gather and clear out this ground. And uh, I found that you can make this a little bit easier if you remember the keys. So I can just click one on your keyboard to do this instead. That's pretty useful instead of going around like that. I can just click one everywhere like that. And I'm going to clean it up. Make it a nice little ground for us. Let's speed up the game a bit. Here we go. Clean up five grass tiles. Like I said, by the way, you can play two in-game days during uh, the demo if you try it out. You can continue it if you decide to buy the game. To store and manage all the resources your tribe finds and crafts, you're going to need some storage areas. Each storage area will only store a single type of resource. You will need to rebuild many more as you progress, at least one for each resource type. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. And uh, I'm not a fan of how to build the menu works. You can access these by F1, F2, F3, F4. But pressing escape to go here, I don't know. I feel like it's that feels a bit odd to me. But anyway, you can access this with uh, F1 through F4. So that's pretty good. We got some info, some settings. And here we got some building. And we need to do some storage area. Okay. Okay, building control. So uh, let's see then. We probably want to make it a little bit bigger, so let's see if we can maybe 
lop down a few of these. I'm not sure how much we need, so I'm gonna go with something like that to begin with. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. And maybe we can clean out some areas as well. Select the multiply things. You can select many armies and train in the times of ones, and then you issue the order or cancel order for all of them at the same time. This is particularly useful for clearing large areas or gathering from many trees. How do we do that? Issue an order for four more things at once. Click on any object or ground, then the plus one. And here we can select if we want to have a box select, a radius select, and uh, we should also be able to select our oh, use the scroll wheel to increase the size. So you can do a really big field like this, right? So if we go like that, and then we can say clear that out. And that's going to clear all that out, which might be a little bit overkill, right? I definitely think it will be, but I'm guessing we can do the same thing with cancelling, maybe not. It seems we can right click, so that's pretty good. Because maybe we don't want to remove everything, because that's quite a lot of work, right? We don't only want to focus on cutting grass. Maybe lawnmower tribe in this one. Okay, so we need to store eight branches. So branches we probably get some from trees like this one. We got pine cones, and here we got gather pine branches, so gather a bit from that one, and let's send over to gather from this one. Now remember that uh, hotkey 2 is for branches. Looks like we got some plants outside here as well, some sunflowers it looks like. And here's another one, yeah. And I think this game by the way is made by a single developer. Maybe there was someone that made the music and so on as well. But from uh, what I've seen, I think it's only one developer, M maybe more. Ah, okay, so what do we got? That's clay. We've got limestone rock, okay. I wonder how many branches we can get, like how many branches do one tree give? Feels like you should be able to get quite a few branches from trees. It looks like we're getting quite a few. There we go, eight branches. Okay, let's, let's see what we're the next now. What do they want us to do? The cool thing with this game also is that you can make custom buildings. Which is really, really fun to do in a game like Stonehearth, so I think it's going to be exciting in this game too. Sleeping in bed, sapiens will be happier when they sleep in a bed rather than hard ground. So now that we have enough hay stored, let's build a few beds. Okay, sure, let's do that. We here we have some hay beds, and we know we have nine people, so we're gonna need nine beds. And they will be sleeping under the stars tonight, and we should be able to uh, rotate these with the right mouse button, okay. I think we'll just have them on kind of like a line here, they will sleep next to each other, except for one of them, I guess. Okay, let's see, can we distract this one? <laughs> Investigating to advance. In order to advance, sapiens need to investigate the world around them. This leads to technological breakthroughs, which will unlock things to build and craft. Okay, cool. Ah, so we go and investigate the things we find? That's interesting. Do we investigate the things we have? I'm guessing so. Investigate, yes. Investigate those branches. What are they actually? <laughs> and let's investigate some of these as well. And uh, I guess we can collect some rocks. What hotkey do we have for that one? One. Ah, uh, we can investigate the ones that are outside here as well. But I'm actually gonna go and uh, loot a few of them. And I think we can go like that. Then we can collect like. I'm guessing, you can see all them ones that we are going to collect. And we can just go limestone or anistone. So we can go whatever way you want to go with it. That's awesome. So let's go with that. Try it again. Hmm, there we go. Sina sona ala sona? Sina wicket tower me. 
Dishonor. They do sound a little bit like the Sims characters, I would say. But that's not too bad, right? So he's investigating those branches, he's looking at them, thinking, what can I do with them? Can I do something awesome with them? Can I make a bow? Can I make an... Maybe a hatchet? That would be awesome for chopping some wood, right? So I'm guessing our people going to be a little bit busy. Oh, oh, that's cool. You can actually see the experimenting here with the branches. A new breakthrough. Fire, lightning. Your tribe has discovered that heat is generated from friction when you rub two sticks together. If it gets hot enough, an ember can be produced to start a fire, providing warmth and light. So we unlock campfire and torches. That's awesome. Look at that. Don't burn up your knee, man. <laughs> Lightning fire. Fire is a support and early discovery, which provides light at night, help to keep your tribe warm when it's cold, and allows cooking food. Now would be a time to get a campfire going, yes. And don't burn up your knee. Don't do that. <laughs> Place a campfire. Okay, let's see. Probably have it in here, right? So, let's go with a campfire. And I'm gonna put this one... I'm gonna put it pretty close to where we sleep. Because hopefully that will keep them warm at night since we don't really have a house. I want to try to keep my people kind of warm anyway during the night. Wait for the fire to be built and lit. Okay. Let's make sure we are investigating those rocks. And let's go back and see if we have investigated. Ah, uh, it's being investigated elsewhere. Okay. Toki. What is that thing? Alpaca carcass. Rots in a few days outside, okay. I thought it was some kind of animal, and you know the cool thing with this game? Look how big this world is. It's freaking enormous. And I guess later we go out to the water. I'm not sure if they added boats to the game yet. But that would be fun. So I guess everyone is kind of like just sitting here resting. Ah, what are you doing? Are we gonna make a hammock or something like that or maybe for drying things? Patch building, ah! Oh. Your tribe has discovered that the when dried vegetation is lined up and placed over the supporting structure it can provide a watertight shelter. So we got some roofs and walls and I guess that means we can make a building now, awesome. We are still investigating those rocks though, they are quite exciting. <laughs> rock napping. By using one rock to hit another, the tribe has discovered that the edges can be sharpened. Several useful tools can be made. Okay. Stone hand axe, ding it. Some some very rare starting primitive weapons, that's pretty cool. How to assign roles. When the sapien discovers new technology, they become skilled it in it, and will automatically assign a role, allowing them to compete to complete a task relating to that skill. You should assign roles and sapiens manually too. This will help keep everyone busy and allow you to focus your tribe on the areas where they are most needed. Okay, so they discover that and become skilled with it. Okay, interesting. So I have two kids that are pretty skilled, but that's a good start. That's a good start, I guess. And this fire should be getting built very, very soon. Assign the sapient to a new role, hit escape, then select a the tribe menu, okay? Sona, a lot of time. Ah, okay. So I can make them become something. I wonder if that number means how many can do it. So if I go to fetch building, okay, so one is able to do it, I guess. It has been assigned to it. Okay, interesting. So, if we go to roles, and maybe we can have, um... Someone more help with those things. Let's maybe have, um... Nisilu help with that. There we go. So that's gonna make our life a little bit easier when we assign the roles to our people. Crafting arrows and tools with understanding rocks and napping. Sapiens have now been ability to create tools. Hand axes and knives are very useful to start with, so your tribe should craft some now. The best way to manage your tribe crafting activities is to first build designated crafting areas. Okay. Let's do so. So here we have a crafting area. 
and uh, we're gonna do four of those then okay so i'm gonna do them kind of close to the stockpile i think maybe one here and the ground is a little bit uneven there so maybe we'll go like that there we go craft and store four stone hand axes and four stone knives okay it sounds easily enough with a new understanding of thatch building, now it would be a great time for the tribe to start to work and on the basic structures. Sapiens will be happy if their beds are under cover. Resources stored on the roof will also last longer. Okay, that sounds good. I'm looking forward to that, so let's go and see what we can do. So we have roof, pots, and uh, then we have walls, door, and the window. So I'm here guessing we are start with walls. We need branches, we need hay. That sounds like we're gonna need quite a bit of it. And I won't, I'm guessing that's the outside we're seeing there. Okay, they kind of look the same. Disable snap, and we can do it if we want to. I'm gonna try to build what we got into a building. So maybe we go back, cancel that, go into um, building. And let's start with the door instead. We can have it kind of centered, maybe. Or maybe not. Let's have it... Maybe the fire can even be in there. I'm gonna go... Centered for now. And uh, let's see then for more pots. Walls. And then we can... See, can we put them like that? We don't need to make, make like a huge house as the beginning house. So I'm just gonna be like making a like little sleeping quarter, I guess you could say. It would be handy if I can change what I'm building inside of here directly instead of going out and back here, I guess. That would be nice. So let's see this one. Can we put it on top directly? Yes, we can. Awesome. Okay, there we go. That's gonna be a beautiful little building. We can add the windows, um, I guess we could. But for this one, um, they're not gonna have any windows. They are gonna stay warm inside. And I think most people can help with this, but it looks like we may need to gather maybe some more branches. Ah, need shopping tool and then we can investigate it. That's cool. Okay, let's make uh, some crafting then. So we can set how many we want to do here, so let's do like four of them. And four knives as well. And I guess we can do some extra on these two if you have some people able to do work at the same time. But it looks like we may need to gather potentially a little bit more of the branches, I think. Ah, this one we can investigate. Okay, let's do that. We want to keep discovering things, I'm guessing. Ah, do we have the hand axe already? Awesome, look at them chopping a tree. Awesome. Chop it, you can do it. I believe in you. These almost look like these could be apple trees. Are they apple trees? Ah, they are apple trees. Ah, I can be some good, good food to get in the beginning, I'm guessing. Ah, there's some bushes there as well. It's kind of far away. I'm not sure if there's any dangerous lurking. There's some stones here. I hope there's like no wolves and stuff. There's some bushes here too. Ah, some raspberries, okay. We may as well gather some food. We can have some people running far, far away and gathering things. Ah, there's some, I think, alpacas out here as well. Just strolling around. Having a good time. Can Bill need eight hay? Okay, so we need to cut more grass, basically. Ah, now we can investigate the grass. Let's do that. I do think I will be using the action keys a lot when doing this, instead of doing big areas. Kinda like it this way. 
I'm guessing the coloration of their little thing above their head means maybe how happy they are. Order limits. Your sapiens will always pick the closest available order that matches their role and needs. So it's important not to queue up too many orders that aren't really required. To help you with this, there is a tribe-wide limit of 5 orders per sapien. After that, they will ignore new orders until previous orders has been completed. If an order is marked with a yellow triangle, with the maximum orders reached, then you can prioritize it in the radial menu. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good, right? That will prevent you from not queuing up too many things, like I'm probably doing right now, right? But I'm guessing they will unlock as we clean up other things. Break fun break fun almost complete. The tribe discovered tree felling. Oh my god. <laughs> awesome. So what do that mean for us? I guess we get logs. Now we have to loot them as well. Okay. And may, maybe we need some more storage now. It seems like it it may be fine. With enough strike with an annex, even the mightiest tree can be taken down. This will provide the wooden logs, which in which burn fires for much longer. But perhaps there are other uses too. Yeah, there probably are more uses than that, right? Hunger and food. You see, are starting to get hungry. Sapiens don't gather fruits by themselves. You need to issue orders to gather, hunt, and store food. Don't gather everything at once, though. Most fruit will last on the tree until next season. But they will click quickly rot to pick the left off that side. Okay. So we maybe don't want to do what I just did, I guess. But we need some kind of food, right? And can we see how much food we have somewhere? At least in here we can see we have zero apples at the moment. We do have some raspberries. I think they're almost done here. They might have quite a few apples here. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. Discovered digging. Awesome. Great job, my people. Just keep discovering more and more things. With the new knowledge of rock napping, Hanex is used to more easily remove the topsoil, transport it elsewhere, and reveal what is beneath. So now we can do different paths. That's pretty cool. But right now we're just kind of waiting for tasks to get done, I guess. And I'm, I'm guessing we could like store this little guy and maybe make some food of him before he goes fully rotten, I guess. That feels like that will be feasible to do. So that seems to be concluding our first in-game night, I guess. Is that a town over there? Looks like a building almost over there. Looks like we got rain the first day. Good, we got a fire. However, maybe we should have had it inside, but we can move it later, I guess. I feel like this game is quite interesting, and considering they're giving a demo, if you guys feel like you want to try it out, I highly, highly recommend to go check it out, because you can, as you see, learn new knowledge, you can build houses, you can customize buildings, you gather things, it kind of reminds a little bit of RimWorld, even though the games are probably very different in many, many areas and so on, but they still remind of each other a little bit with the colony management. So that's a uh, big plus in my book, because RimWorld is an also an amazing game. And I may also consider buying it myself later on, as I keep trying out the demo, and buy a copy for myself, and uh, continue playing with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today, the first episode of Sapiens with me Banto. If you did, feel free to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you want to watch more videos, and uh, I wish you all a great rest of the day, so thanks for watching guys. And take care, have a good one.